another Below the Belt with Jared. Uh, I wanted to talk about something that I worked really hard on in preparation for my belt match, which is I wanted to be faster. And in order to be faster, I decided to train reaction time. Now, there's lots and lots of ways to do this. There are some things that you can buy that are specific reaction time trainers, and I purchased one of those that I'll show you today. There's lots on the market, and there's lots of other homemade ways that you can train your reaction time as well. So I thought I'd share some of those with you today that I have gone through. So the reaction time trainer that I purchased is called the Blaze Pod, and it comes with these four pods, right, that you can put on the ground or wrap around the bag or hang on the wall. And what you do is you'll go through and you'll tap it and either with a specific color or in a specific sequence as quickly as you can when they light up and you can track your results on the app that comes with it and it will tell you how many milliseconds it, your average and each hit and whether or not there were any outliers or errors or misses and things like that and there's it'll keep a long history for uh, a very long amount of time so that i can actually write it down and track um, all of my accuracies and misses and things like that. So with these pods, I will start with just regular single handed strikes because I'm primarily a one handed fighter. Now in different sessions, I would add different variables, right? And annotate how those variables affected my speed. For example, backing up the set and adding a lunge, right? Adding a lunge, right? I anticipated that one too early, and it actually slowed me down, right? Or changing hands, going left-handed. Left-handed with a lunge, left-handed without a lunge. You can also do thrusts only, right? Where only the point of the tip can touch, right? Or slashes only, where I have to come in with the side of the blade. And I can also change up my stance by saying I have to go diagonal and be offline with the target before I can gain a strike. And every single time I add a variable, I will do a full session or three with that variable and write down my times and how many times I missed and compare all that in a spreadsheet so that I can see how movement and different handedness and thrusting versus slashing and all the other variables that I'm including in my fights affect the timing of my strikes. That's what this reaction time training is for. You can also use the blaze pods to help train you to get offline and to take side steps and diagonal steps when striking. For the more linear fighters that feel like it's just straight in and out, this can give you a uh, distinct advantage being able to move left, right, forward, back. You can even set one of these behind you and be able to train the quickness of your retreat step instead of just your lunges. But there are lots and lots of other ways, like I mentioned before, on how to get faster. And we'll go through some of those in just a minute. If you want to do reaction time training without purchasing anything, uh, you can do exercises with a partner where they drop balls and you catch those balls. You can do uh, trying to block nerf darts with your lightsaber and have somebody shooting at you. Uh, you can even um, get an app on your cell phone that is a specific reaction time trainer, either in an app or a browser. I just don't recommend hitting that with your lightsaber. You probably want to do that with a finger. But there are lots and lots of different ways um, to be creative and to train your reaction time. All right, so as always, these are just some things that I do um, that worked for me um, and some different variations on what it is that I did uh, that I'm offering up in case it's helpful for you. Uh, if it's not helpful for you, but something else is, will you let me know in the comments? If it is helpful for you, but you had to change something or tweak something, let me know in the comments because everything that lifts us up lifts each other up. We all rise together. And once again, I am not paid, endorsed, I am not a professional, uh, I am not an expert opinion, consult a licensed psych psychotherapist and an exorcist before watching any of these videos and performing any of the things that you see herein. This has been another episode of Below the Belt with Jared. Thank you for hanging out with me.